G'day, I'm Joe Spicer from Go Get a Kelpie Stud. Um, uh, we're here in sunny Glen Thompson on a beautiful uh, winter's day. And uh, we're just gonna have a look at a few dogs and learn a little bit about what I um, do and the way I train. A lot of this training is based around um, letting the dog go where you want it to go and just stopping it from going from where you don't want to go. So quite often we will use a body extension to help us do that. And so this yard is structured so that uh, I can reach from one side to the other without taking too many steps. So it's not too big, it's not too small. It's also very important that the dog can actually get around the sheep without pushing them away. So it's got to have some size about it. So one thing I, I'm looking at is just getting this pup in the right frame of mind to begin with. I don't want to be too far inside its mind and I don't um, um, want it to be off with the pixies either. So I'm not so worried about it jumping on me at the moment. I'll slowly just nag it until it gets the point that I don't want it to jump on me. So there we go. So I'll nag again. So a lot of people don't take the time to do this. Rather than chastising it harshly, I'll just keep nagging it until I get the response I want and then I'll, I'll acknowledge that response. Good girl, sit. So she doesn't know sit or come or any commands yet. I don't, don't um, teach too many of them. I might do a little bit of lead work. I see the lead as my translator, slowly teaching the dog English with a yes and no system. So loose lead is yes. A nag is no. So it's not from a tight lead, it's from a loose lead. I don't want stock that are faster than the pup because what will happen is the pup in its effort to try and get to the head and block them will actually chase them away and try to bite them. So I've got to make sure that the sheep aren't faster than the pup. So the golden rule is my first step is just to make this an enjoyable experience for the pup, nothing more, nothing less. So eventually I want the pup going around the stock. I don't want it going in between me and the stock. I don't want it biting or splitting one out. But if all those things happen, then it's not the end of the world. Good girl, hey, good girl. Right. So you can see she's ready now, I'm ready now. The sheep aren't in the corner. I can step in to be three metres away from them. Everything now hopefully will go well. So I can step in here and she'll just sneak around them. Eventually it will decide to um, stop. When it does, you can give the stop command. Good dog, stop. But I would prefer at this time just to let it stop for a moment and then reward it by moving away and giving it the stop back. So a lot of people think that these dogs um, see a, a um, confirmation in the way of a command or uh, a food reward a, as a reward. They don't care about that at all. All they want to do is work stock. So what we're going to do is every time they do what we want, we're going to give the sheep back to them. So there she stopped. Now I'll let her go again. That's good. So that's just slowed her down a bit. 